Welcome to the University of Pretoria's tutorial for online registration. The purpose of this video is to guide you through the registration process in a simple and understandable way. So let's start off by visiting www.up.ac.za. Navigate to and click on the My UP Login link. Here you will log in using your UP username, which is a U, followed by your student number, and then proceed by entering your password. Please note that before you begin with the process, ensure that you have no holds on your user account as this will prevent you from registering. For example, you may have an outstanding registration fee which will result in a financial hold. Once you have logged in, click on the Student Centre link under the Student Centre heading. On the Student Centre page, click on the UP Student Centre tile. From here, navigate to the Academic Information section. Proceed to clicking on the registration or module changes, whereby you will then click on the online registration link. The UP registration status page will then open. Please note that you have to complete all the steps in order to be a registered student at the University of Pretoria. You can use the transfer to drop down box at the top of the page to skip to any previous page. You can also use the yellow buttons at the bottom of each page to navigate the system. As soon as you have completed reading the instructions, you can click Next and move on to the following page. Here we begin with the actual process of completing registration. Step 1 deals with the disclaimer, so ensure that you have read it before continuing. Click on the General Academic Regulations, where a new page will appear with contents that you must read. Once you have read it, you can navigate back to the registration page and click the checkbox next to I Confirm. The next task involves clicking on the contract addendum and reading it. Once complete, navigate back to the registration page as previously done and click on the I agree button, then move on to the next step. Step 2 deals with the information consent. Start off by clicking on the triangle to expand to confirm or deny the disclosure of your personal information, academic progress and fee account data. Select what is applicable to you. For example, if you do not have a bursa, you will select the No option next to the Disclose Fee Account to Bursa or Surety. Once complete, you may proceed to clicking Next. Step 3 focuses on your contact details. These details will be pre-populated according to your application information. Alternatively, you'll be able to fill them in now or make any adjustments if necessary. You can begin by filling in your permanent postal address, followed by your residential address, otherwise known as your domicilium Sitandi, and then your local address, using a street code and name. Your work address may be filled in if applicable. You can then proceed by entering the relevant contact information of your fee guarantor, should this category be empty. Please be sure that all the information entered thus far is correct before clicking Next. Now we come to step 4, which deals with preferences. Here you will need to confirm your language preferences and the campus you will attend. The academic plan will have determined which campus you should attend. However, if you are uncertain as to whether it is correct, be sure to contact our Student Service Centre at ssc at up.ac.za. Let's fill in your language of preference. Here you will select your home language and language of instruction. This is the language in which you will receive your classes in. Make sure you check the language for your communication, which states, I understand that the University of Pretoria sends emails to students via UP Gmail and I'm responsible for managing my UP Gmail forwarding address. Click on the Gmail acknowledgement checkbox to continue. And finally, select your work info by choosing an option that is available under the drop-down box. You may now proceed to the next step. Step 5 is the course or class selection. You must read the details listed below, which state You must enrol for the entire year, which includes second semester and or third and fourth quarter courses. You must enrol for all available core and fundamental courses as displayed. Consult the online yearbook by clicking on the yearbook information link to decide which and how many courses you need to select. Click on the Special Instructions link for additional information. Make sure you select the correct class selection option if available. 
If applicable, return to this page to drop any enrolled courses if necessary. Check the tick box in the red drop column of the enrolled courses grid to do so. Ensure that your total credits add up to the correct total. If not, remove courses as the system will not allow you to continue. Visit the yearbook information to assess the total credits required. It is important that you do not exceed this amount as it will prevent you from continuing with the registration process. Should you wish to add courses, click on the magnifying glass icon. A new box will open and you can then search for the subject you would like to add. Once you have the subject selected, move to the catalogue number and click once again on the magnifying glass icon. Here you will select the applicable number that pertains to the subject. Under the requirement type, ensure that you select the correct one, which in this case would be an elective module. As you can see from this example, the elective module you have chosen exceeds your total amount of 90 credits. Therefore, you will need to remove this or any modules that are not part of your core selection. You are now ready to move on to the next step of the process. The enrollment confirmation lists the following details for you to confirm that your selection of courses, sessions and languages are correct. Return to the previous page to make any necessary corrections. If any errors are present, drop the relevant courses before proceeding to the next page. And finally, proceed to the next page to complete the registration. The final step is confirming your registration. The information provided below will state that Registration has been completed successfully. You are now a registered student of the University of Pretoria for your selected program. Proof of registration will be sent to the email address that you provided. If you have not received the proof of registration in two days time, please contact the Student Service Centre at ssc at up.ac.za or contact 012-420-3111. If you are a Gibbs student, please contact your program manager at the Gordon Institute of Business Science. Print any information regarding this registration from your student center. Here you can click Print Proof of Registration. Just ensure that your pop-ups are not blocked in order to open the PDF file. Once you have done so, the electronic document will open in a separate window where you will be able to print your proof of registration with all the relevant information regarding your program. Should you have any further questions, contact the Student Service Centre at ssc at up.ac.za. By now, you have successfully completed the registration process. Best of luck with continuing your academic career at UP.